Uh, we have the world's tallest basketball player. Uh, he is, of course, Chinese. Um, he Yao Ming is seven six, uh, seven feet six feet. Ah, sick there, seven feet six inches tall. This guy outshines him. His name is Sun Ming Ming, and he is seven foot nine inches tall. Look at that picture. Get out of town, man. That's awesome. <laughs> now, the problem is, as you can tell, he's not in the NBA. He's in the Japanese league. Pull it up, poor little Japanese fellow trying to keep up with him. <laughs> I mean, how's that guy going to stop him, right? Uh, his problem is that he can't, he's not as fast as the other NBA players. So he's going to try to make it into the NBA. He's 25 years old. Uh, well, he had a growth uh, that wound up in his body that wound up having two different uh, consequences. One was it caused unnatural growth in his body, okay? But number two is that it uh, absolutely destroyed his endurance and his ability uh, to keep up with other players. So it was, uh, you know, obviously it helped in some ways if you're trying to play basketball and hurt in other ways. And they took the growth out. They took the tumor out. So now he's fine and his endurance is getting uh, higher and higher and his fitness is getting higher and higher. So now he might have a better chance. You, you don't have video of this dude, do you? Oh, look at that. Let me check this. You know this guy, yeah? Now that they're showing a couple of videos, I remember, I think when he was in, I'm not sure if it was a minor league team or if it was in college or something. But I saw this guy a couple years ago. Because there was a guy like this that was on Memphis or something like One of those. He no, tried it was like, out. He tried out for the Lakers a couple it years ago. It was a back. small, yeah, it was a small college. And then they played in, like, it was leading up to the tournament like two years ago. And he was ridiculously slow. Uh -huh. But he didn't have to jump to dunk. It was I think this is the guy. Yeah, yeah. This is the guy that he almost doesn't have to jump to dunk. Uh, it, you know, the thing is, like, in the Japanese league, they just toss it up to him, right? Who the hell is going to catch it, right? <laughs> He'll just catch it above their heads. But in the NBA, there'll be plenty of people who can catch it above his head. And he's got to run up and down. And that's a problem. That's a problem on defense, somewhat of a problem on offense. But he's working on all that. And as you can see there, you know what? He doesn't look that bad. He looks like maybe he can do it. This was crazy. You know, we're watching it. It's in fast motion. So I wonder how slow he really is because this looks like just faster than normal. There he, uh, goes. Uh, there he goes. Oh, dude, I can beat this guy. Anna can beat this guy. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Come on. He's laboring a little bit. Oh, oh so God, he's so slow. Oh. Jeez and Lord mercy. He's going to need some help to get into the NBA. Uh, but look, you know, Chris Dudley and all these clowns, they hung around in the NBA being like eight inches shorter than him and really not having much more speed or anything else. They hung around in the NBA for like ten years at a time. So maybe he's got a shot. So, all right. You know what, Sun Ming Ming? We're rooting for you, man. Who doesn't want to see a seven foot nine guy in the NBA? Fun for everybody. All right. I just feel bad for the poor sums of bitches playing him in the Japanese league. <laughs>